I'm Joran Hansen, uh, Professor of Cardiovascular Research at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. Inflammation is present in the atherosclerotic lesion together with cholesterol derived from lipoproteins and components of the vessel wall itself. Uh, cholesterol is a great risk factor, uh, very important as is high blood pressure, but they cannot alone explain the disease process that we see. The disease is not only an accumulation of cholesterol, but a response of the tissue that includes inflammatory cells, immune cells. Uh, and therefore, inflammation is a crucial component of the disease. But we don't understand enough of how it operates. Uh, but it's there. It's a fact. Macrophages and Activated macrophages are found at sites of plaque uh, disruption uh, so and they make com molecules, uh, enzymes that can chop up components of the fibrous cap of the plaque. So therefore the macrophage is likely to really uh, elicit plaque disruption by weakening the plaque, by chopping up the collagen components so that the plaque is uh, fragile and vulnerable and therefore cracks when it's hit by the force of the blood pressure. The T lymphocytes, which is the main type of lymphocytes present at these sites of, of, uh, in the plaque and at sites of plaque rupture, they are really the um, conductors of the orchestra of inflammation. The T cell can tell the monocyte or the macrophage to become activated. Other types of T cells can inhibit macrophage activation. So the T cell can really control the whole process. And we do find activated T cells as well as activated macrophages at the site of plaque rupture. Furthermore, the T cell makes cytokines that inhibit collagen formation and smooth muscle accumulation and therefore they reduce cap formation. So they both act on the vascular components, the, the cap, and on the macrophage and really control the disease process in that way.